curve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, Father of God, my Lord, my God, we bless you this morning. We worship you, Lord. We give you a chance to give you our directions. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. We bless you, Lord, Lord, for another day of victory. We thank you, Jesus, for you are the Lord of glory, the King of kings. Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Elohim. Father, we just bless you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, take honor and take adoration today, O Lord, in thy might, my Jesus. My Lord, my God, glorify your holy Lord, in thy name of Jesus. Have your will, O Lord, in our life. We bind all the plans of the enemy against us in this very new week, O Lord. Jesus, we thank you for bringing us into it. Father, because we know that as you have started with us, you are going to end up with us, O Lord. My Lord God, take us through control in the mind, my Jesus. Have your way, O Lord, and let your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. I bless you, Father. I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us sing him six to four. Six hundred and twenty-four. Take my life and let it be. One to go. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moment and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move. As the impulse of thy love, take my faith and let them be sweet and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing always solely for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with message from the beam. Take my silver and my gold, not a mighty of my hold. Take my intellect I use. Every part as I shall choose. Take my will and make it that it shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is that all, it shall be the royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at thy feet in treasure store. Take myself, and I will be ever holy all for thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. With everything that concerns us, O oh Lord. Jesus, have your way. Let us sing 857. 857. Want to go. 
I be Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my heart will sing. I who made the stars of night. I will make the darkness bright. Holy bear my light to death. Who shall I send? Yeah, I am Lord. He speaks I am Lord. I you calling in the night, and we go, Lord, if you leave me, I we hold your people in my heart, and the Lord of snow and rain. I have all my people's pain. I have wept for love for them. They turn away. I will break their heart also. Give their heart for love and love. I will speak my word to them. Who shall I say? Yeah, I am Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. If you leave me, I will hold your people in my heart. And the Lord of weakness, I will turn the poor alarm. I will set the feast for them. My heart will say. Finest bread that we provide, till their heart is satisfied. I will give my life to them. Who shall I send? Yeah, I am. Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. If you leave me, I will hold your people in my heart. Yeah, I am. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go. If you leave me, I will hold your people in my heart. Let us sing um, six, seven, three. Six, seven, three. There is a redeemer. One to go. There is a redeemer. Jesus, God, God, Son. 
precious Lamb of God, Messiah, O oh, Holy One. Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your Son. And your spirit the work on earth Jesus my Redeemer name above all names precious Lamb of God Messiah oh Sin us Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your son. I live in your spirit, the work on earth is done. When I stand in glory, I will see his face, and there I will serve my King forever in the holy place. Thank you, oh my Father. For giving us your son and living your spirit in the world of earth. Let's quickly sing 613 Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. One to go. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Break me, met me. Move me, feed me, Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Break me, match me, mold me, feed me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you this hour, O oh Lord, for giving us the strength to praise your holy Lord. Jesus, we worship you. We thank you, Father, for all that you have been doing for us, Lord. Father, accept our worship this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, we're going to the book of Ephesians chapter one, and we are going to use from verse 15 to 23. And the topic is prayer for revelation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Before the church is chapter one from verse 15. Yes. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus yes. and the love for all the saints, do not cease to give themselves for you, Amen. making mention of you in my prayers, yes. that 
the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. the Father of glory, Amen. may give you, to you the spirit of wisdom and the revelation Amen. in the knowledge of him. Hallelujah. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope Amen. of his coming, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Amen. And what is exceedingly great greatness of his power toward us who believe. Amen. according to the working of his mighty power, Thank you, Jesus. which he worked in the Christ when he raised him Amen. from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, Hallelujah. far above all principality and the powers and the might and the dominion Thank and you, every name that is named not only this age, but also in the in that which is to come. Amen. And he put all things under his feet, yes. and they gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, Amen. the fullness of him who fit all in all. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, prayer for revelation. We all need this in this very season. Where you are going, where you are worshiping, as you are following us, as you are worshiping with us, we all need that revelation. You need that revelation. I need that revelation. What is the year telling us or what is going to happen in the year? You also have the power, my brother, my sisters, to know what God is saying concerning this very season, what God is saying concerning the year 2022, what God is saying to yourself, to your family, and to your children, what God is saying to everyone around you, even the land that you are stepping on. So we need that very revelation. Apostle Paul is telling us here, he said from verse 15, he said, for this reason, I will take it from, uh, let me take it from verse 13 for you to know the reason why. He said, in him, you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him. He's talking about Jesus with the Holy Spirit of promise. You know, Jesus Christ, before he left, he promised to send the Holy Spirit from the Father to us, which will guide us, which will convict us, which will, which will remind us of all things. So then verse 14, he said, who is giving us a pledge to our inheritance with a view to the redemption of of God's own possessions to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. Verse 15, he said, for this reason, I too, having heard of the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, which exists among you, and your love for all the saints. Praise God. Pastor Paul is trying to admire them. He's still trying to praise them that he have heard concerning the faith that is in them. The people they now the believe, people of uh, Ephesus they now believe that oh Jesus Christ is Lord, as you also believe that Jesus Christ died and resurrected after three days. After crucifixion, they bury him. Then he promised and said, oh. The, when he was still preaching, he told them that this very house is going to destroy it and rebuild it in three days. The people were thinking, oh, it's just the block house they are. They said this house took them 120 years to build. How can you say you will build it in three days when you destroy it? And how even are you going to destroy it 
You can't even destroy it in how many years or months. But you are now saying they didn't know he was talking about himself because our body is also a house. Hallelujah. So it's, uh, when he heard about the fate of the people of Ephesus, that is Apostle Paul, he was now admiring them, was now praising them, was now thanking them, giving them a word of promise so that they would be able to stand on that faithful day, to stand on what is ahead of them. He said, do not, sorry, do not cease giving thanks for you while making mention of you in my prayers. So he prayed for them to support them. So also we are praying from Global Light Apostolic Ministries for everyone that surround us, that is joining us, that's supporting us, that's member of Global Light Apostolic Ministries. We also pray for them on our private uh, prayer. Hallelujah. So Apostle Paul said, he, do, he will not, I mean, he's, he doesn't cease in praying for them because of their faith, for them not to go back. So myself and yourself, my brother, my sisters, we need to be praying for those that are, uh, that are baby in Christ, that are not strong, even for those that are already strong, like pastor, you can also pray for me too. Praise God. Because temptation doesn't have a level. It can come to anybody. Like the story we heard concerning a, 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 a very big, uh, one of the prominent pastors some few days ago. So we all need prayer because the devil can use anybody to tempt anybody. He's looking for loopholes whereby he can fit in. When that door is open, then he just penetrates. I pray this morning, enemy will not enter. Will not, the door that have been open, enemy will not use it to enter your family and your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 17. He said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. This is very important. The spirit of wisdom and revelation. When you, when you have that revelation, you will be able to, when God gives you that spirit of revelation and wisdom, you will be able to, as a husband or as a wife, you will be able to manage your home. When he gives you that spirit of knowledge, you will be able to know what is happening around you. When you have that knowledge of Christ, especially that of Christ, you will be able to have that faith and say, oh, I cannot do anything outside him. Praise God. When you have that spirit of, uh, of wisdom, you will be able to know that when you are doing bad things, you will be able to know, or when you are going to sin against him. Even without wisdom, you will be able to know how life is within the foes of Christians, even the world at large. We all need that spirit of wisdom, revelation, and of knowledge. I pray this morning for God to release it unto us in Jesus' name. Even if you have had it, that God should make it to be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Verse 18, he said, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know that it is, sorry, you, that you may know what is the hope of his calling? What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense? Praise God. When you have the wisdom, when you have the revelation, when you have the knowledge, you will be able to know the promise you have in Christ. The promise we have in Christ is not only to buy a house or to buy a car, or to marry, or to have children. The promise we have for, uh, th that he have for us is for us to reign with him in heaven. Praise God. That is why he gave us, that, that is why he came to die for us, 
for me and you. Hallelujah. He came to die in order for us to be saved from those sins. We were not there when he was crucified, but as we have, because of the faith, that same faith which the people, uh, the, people the Christian of Ephesus have that time, is that same faith we are having today. Praise God. So we are also having that faith that Jesus Christ is Lord, is the Messiah, he's the creator, is all in all, is the one that is carrying us along. Amen. Verse 18, sorry, 19. He said that what is the uh, surpassing greatness of, the, of his power towards us who believe they are in accordance with the working of the strength of his mind. Praise God. What is the, his working power according to to his promise, according to his might, according to what he has asked us to do. Without Christ this morning, myself and yourself, we will not be able to wake up. He's the only one that can open door, and that door can never be shut by anybody. And when he shut it, nobody can open it. Praise God. So he's the one that gives us strength, gives us the power to believe in him, to trust him, Amen. Verse 20. He said, um, which he brought, uh, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the from the dead and, and seated him at the right hand of the heavenly places. God the Father. God is the God that resurrected Jesus Christ. The promises they have, the covenant they have, the, 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 the vow that Jesus Christ vowed, God the Father also fulfilled it. Himself also fulfilled it. Even on that very day, that when Jesus Christ was going through that pain, he wanted to give up. In our life today, there are many vows that we have vowed, even in serving God, like that very day, I or yourself accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. It's a vow which each and every one of us have to fulfill. But somewhere along the line, as we are going deeper into it, because you don't know how that river, did, I mean, the the, the depth of that very river, you won't know from the beginning. But as you are going into it, that is how this our Christian life is. And that is also the reason why many people, they, they backslide, they go out from their way, or they say, oh, I cannot serve Christ. When I was in the world, I was having everything. When I was in the world, I was not suffering for money. When I was in the world, I was not... Uh, uh, I was having friends, but now they are not coming. I have been in that situation. Somebody told me, I said, oh, because you are this now or you are that, I am not having, a, people are no more giving me money. Hallelujah. Which type of money are you receiving before? Or which type of money are people giving to you? Praise God. Or what is your, why are you, why were they giving you money before? But now that you know me or something uh, uh, happened somewhere, then you are no more receiving it. Not that I, I, I myself was a bad person. Possibly because the light of God had entered your life, what you were doing before, people are now, I mean, you are not having that opportunity to do it again. Praise God. You now receive a word or you are now thinking, oh, so, so, so things will happen if I receive this very money. Praise God. So that is how our Christ is for us. So we now believe in him, surpassing greatness of his power towards us who believe. They are in accordance with the working of the strength of his mind. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Verse 20, which he brought 
about in Christ when he raised him up, when he raised him from the dead and seated him on the right hand of the heavenly places. Praise God. So Jesus Christ, he, even the work that he, he doing for us now is even greater than the work he did before. Praise God. He's sitting on the right hand of God, still interceding for me and for you. So we all need the revelation of, uh, 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 of the word of God in order for us to know the position and what God, what Christ is doing for us. You need the revelation, we need the knowledge, and you also need the wisdom to read or to follow Christ. Hallelujah. Then verse, um, verse 21, it says, far above all rules and authority and powers and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this in the age but also in the age to come hallelujah jesus christ is far above every authority in the name of jesus every knee shall bow no other name that is greater than that name of jesus the blood is so super is so powerful it's too it's too heavy for anybody to stand with anybody can call the name of any altar, they can call the name of God, but when you measure Jesus, because they also call whatever they are serving, they also call it God, but it's not Jesus. It's not Jesus Christ. That is where the, 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 the most powerful uh, strength of God is. That blood is too powerful that nobody can, can, can mess up with it. Hallelujah. His power is above all. I mean, his authority and power is uh, and dominion is above all names. And in the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. It's above the power of witches and wizards. It's above the power of those voodoo men. It's above the power of uh, marine spirit. It's above sickness. It's above cancer. It's above whatever name you can call it, even no matter poverty, the name of Jesus Christ is above it. Whatever trouble that is in the family, the name of Jesus is above it. Hallelujah. So verse 22, he said, and he put all things in subjection under his feet. That is it. Everything is under his feet. Whatever, if you, if you have trouble now, you yourself, God gives you that authority. He gives you that strength. He gives us that power to, to trample upon the serpent and the scorpion. He said they will by no means hurt us. Everything that you are, every, whatever problem that is facing you in life, when you also know that you have that revelation, you have that wisdom, and you have that knowledge that, oh, everything is subjection. He said he put all things in subjection under his feet. So also, you as somebody that have believed in Christ, you have that Holy Spirit. He is guiding you. He's protecting you. So everything around you, whatever trouble, is also under your feet because of the faith you have. We have in Christ. It may be troubling your mind, but know that Christ has already redeemed us from the cost of of this uh, of, of of the law from he died at the i mean on that very cross in order for myself and yourself to be saved for us to be free from any cause that the enemy want to cause us no matter the hand or no matter what they are pointing to you jesus christ have already take over it what we need to do is for us to have that faith praise god what we need to do is for us to believe, don't doubt, or don't because of the situation of things, start saying or going back to Egypt, doing things that is not right. With that God, I mean, Jesus Christ can never fight for us. I read that, I start from that verse 22 again. He said, having put all things 
in suggestions on in suggestion under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church verse 23 which is which is his body and fullness of his of him who fill all in all hallelujah so with christ we are redeemed with christ we have been bought we can i cannot do it for my son or my daughter you cannot do it for your son or your daughter there are some people or even there are some cases that is happening now this mother said no i'm not going to i'm not going to sponsor what you have done it can happen to anybody but jesus christ have redeemed everything if such a person now gives himself totally to christ and say oh christ I am sorry for what I have done. We will be surprised on that very day that they said they are going to uh, summon him. They are going to question him or they are going, anybody that is in that kind of situation. When you are in trouble, you have committed sin before. You have done what is even commit murder. And you now later come back to Christ and say, Lord, I am sorry for what I have done. I did it ignorantly do we see that with god mercy if you repent or if we repent completely god will definitely forgive us that is who jesus christ is that is who our father is the only sin that the only one that cannot forgive us is the sin against the holy spirit when we blaspheme against him what he did not say is like now i will tell you oh this is the prophecy that i received whereas i did not receive it I did not hear anything like that. I'm, I was, I mean, only just imagining it from my own, from myself. I said, okay, if I speak like this, they are going to love my ministry. It's not my ministry, it's God's ministry. When I speak like this, uh, people are going to start rushing. That is why you see fake pastors, fake prophetess, fake everything. Praise God. But God so did it in a way that he said we should trust him. We should believe in him. Don't go out. When we are telling our children, don't go out when the road is bad. When it is snow, many of us, we are inside our home. Praise God. When it's raining, many of us, we are inside our home if he did not meet us outside. When there is danger, many of us, we are inside our home. Why are we going out? or to start committing sin. God will richly bless us this morning in Jesus' name. For those that are joining us, we are using the book of Ephesians chapter 1 today, from verse 15 to 23. And the topic is prayer for revelation. We all need it, my brother, my sister. Let us now start thanking God for today and say, Lord, I just thank you for your word. I thank you for this new week that you have brought us into. Let us continue to pray. Oh Lord God, we bless your name this morning, oh Lord. We just thank you for this new week that you have brought us into. We bless your holy Lord, because there is no one like you. We just thank you, Father Lord, for you are the God that make it possible for us to be in your presence. My Lord, my God, we worship you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for you are the God that fought that fought for us, that fight for us in the night. We don't know where we are. We don't know. Our body is just lying out there, but we know by your grace, we were able to wake up this morning. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we worship you. I pray for this, for your sons and daughters. Also, I thank God, thank you for their life, oh Lord, for making them to be awake this morning. For you did not allow ambulance to come to each and every one of us, though. Father, we bring glory and honor unto you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. As he said in that verse 17, he said, anyone that, he, I read it for us, he said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation and in the knowledge of him. We all need it, my brother, my sister. These very three things, 
We need it in Christ. We need it in our life. We need it in our day-to-day uh, exercise or things that we are doing. If you don't have the wisdom, how can you manage your home? How can you manage your children? How can you even manage your life? Let us now continue to pray and say, Lord, I need your wisdom. I need your revelation. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us now continue to pray. Lord Jesus, Father, increase my wisdom, O oh Lord. Increase my Lord knowledge and my revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, lay it upon me, O oh Lord. I need your wisdom. The wisdom which is the master key. All of us are praying for, oh Lord, give me the master key to open, my, to open the door of my life. The master key is the wisdom that you are, we are praying for now, that God should give you that master key, that should give you that wisdom to open the, 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 the door of your blessing. My Lord, my God, give me the master key, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, give us the master key, give us the wisdom and the revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray concerning this. Many people, God speak, in, I mean, God give them revelation through vision or through, uh, through dream. But many of us or many people, we don't remember it or rather we don't even know how to interpret it. We are going to pray this morning and say, Lord, whatever dream, any revelation, any vision that I see, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, give me the power or give me the meaning. Give me the meaning of my dream, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. You waking up this morning, God, you, you have to ask God to give you. What, do you. what did God want you to do today? Ask God to give you the meaning of today in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, give us the meaning, O Lord, Father, of our dream. Jesus, give us the meaning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present, O many potent God, give us the meaning of today, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us continue to walk in your wisdom and understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us the meaning, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, that's verse 18, so that you may know what is the hope of his glory. Ask God right now that God should give you the heart. It should, it should enlighten your heart. It should teach you. It should open that revelation as he has opened it to you. It should give you make your heart to be enlightened, to make your heart uh, uh, to, to know the, the, the reason and the reason of his, of his calling and the hope of your, sorry, he said, you may know what is the hope of his calling. That let us now pray and say, Lord, give me the heart, O oh Lord, for that. Enlighten my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Enlighten me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, of your way. Teach me, Jesus. Give me that wisdom. As you have given me that wisdom, Father, Lord God, teach me, Lord. Enlighten me in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to know more of you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, teach me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray for this week. I say, Lord, as you have brought us into this brand new day, brand new week, Father, Lord Jesus, walk with us, O oh Lord. As you have given us the wisdom, my Lord, my God, let our, the wisdom that you have given us, don't let it fail us this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us continue to pray. O oh Lord God, we pray this hour, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have given us the wisdom, O oh Lord, Father, Lord God, and you have brought us into this new week, O many present, O many potent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, speak your word to us this week, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Enlighten us what you want us to do, how this week is for us, O oh Lord. Jesus, Father, walk with us this week. Ask God this morning to walk with your family. Ask God this morning to walk with your children, even those that are going to school or going to college or going to university, or even those that are going to work, even yourself. You may be going to work or you are, you are going, you are, I mean, you are being at home. Ask God to speak to you in the mighty name of Jesus, to give you the strength to do this week or from today to do the activities. Those good things that you, plan, you, that you plan to do, that God should support you. It should be with you 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, we surrender this week unto your able hand, oh Lord. Be with us, Lord. Guide us, Lord. Protect us, Lord. This week, don't let us hear bad news, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us also pray for this land and say, Lord, let the land that I am or the land that I came from, let them continue. Let there be peace in the land, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray for this land, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be peace in the land of England. The land that I came from, oh Lord, Father, I pray for it, for there to be peace, oh Lord. The land of Nigeria, Father, let there be peace, oh Lord. In Africa as a continent, let there be peace in the mighty name of Jesus. In Europe, oh Lord, in every part of the whole world, I also pray for each and every one, anyone that is on the line now, the land that you came from, I ask for the peace of God to be upon it in the mighty name of Jesus. Among the, among the leaders, Father, let them continue to have that wisdom. The, 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 the leaders, they need the wisdom to manage their people. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we need you, oh Lord. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, the land that we came from, or rather the land that we are now, Father, the leaders of this very country, if there was, if people have gotten that very wisdom, what is happening now will not be happening. The rumors that we are hearing will not be happening. Father, Lord Jesus, give them the wisdom, O Lord, to lead your people in the mighty name of Jesus. The leaders of this country, the leaders of our country, the leader of Africa as a continent, or the leaders of the whole world, Father, they need your wisdom. They need your revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. They also need your knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to them, O Lord. Let their hearts also be enlightened. Father, teach them, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We all need you, O Lord, in every side, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give our children the wisdom to lead or the wisdom to do their day-to-day -day activities in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, give them wisdom, O Lord, so that they will not miss the edge in the mighty name of Jesus. Give, give our children, O Lord, those men and women right now, give them the wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Even somebody that is sick, you need the wisdom of God. You need the revelation of God. You need the knowledge of God. And also for your heart to be enlightened. You need that faith that will make you to say, oh, God is God, God, God is the God that created me. And he's also the one that is going to heal me. You need that faith, my brother, my sister. Ask for God to increase your faith this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we ask for your faith this morning, oh Lord. Father, increase our faith, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, increase our faith this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Enlighten us, oh Lord. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, take us low control in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's quickly pray and say, Father, everyone that is sick, Father, we ask for your divine healing. We may be, I, I may be praying this prayer right now, physically or spiritually. I myself, there may be some other way that I myself is sick. We can be sick physically or spiritually. Father Lord Jesus, heal every soul that is sick, O oh Lord, under the sound of my voice right now. No matter the sickness, Father Lord God, heal each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual sickness, physical sickness, any diseases, O oh Lord, that the enemy have put in us. Father, heal us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal every soul. Heal Global Light Apostolic Ministries. Father, Lord God, heal us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's quickly pray too and say, Lord, I reject every limitation this year, oh Lord, from today being the 17th day of January. I reject limitation even in my account or in my day-to-day -day activities. I will not be limited. I am all limited in the mighty name of Jesus. Those business that you are doing, that work that you are doing, you will not be limited in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be unlimited. Your account, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, I pray right now, enemy will not place embargo on it. There are some account that enemy have placed embargo. You will see that, oh, even if they say, oh, I'm going to have 1,000 pounds this, this, this very month. They will have that very money, but they cannot save that very money. You will see that before you know it, that money will be reduced to even uh, 100, 100 pounds. Continue to pray and say, Lord, I cancel every evil limitation right now, oh Lord. My, I will not be limited. My children will not be limited. They are unlimited in the mighty name of Jesus. Global Light Apostolic Ministries will not be limited. We are unlimited. Our members are unlimited. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Around the globe, in this city that we are, in the land of England, in the United Kingdom, wherever we, uh, they have heard our name, Father Lord Jesus, we will not be limited. We are unlimited in the mighty name of Jesus. I erase that name of limit, limit uh, oh Lord, Father. Anything that is limiting us, Father, I cancel it this day, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, Father. I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's quickly pray. As the prayer come to me that we should pray for somebody that is trying to make a decision that God should give you the wisdom and understanding and revelation. That is what we need. That any decision that you want to make, that God should support you. He should give you the right decision, not the fake one. That Holy Spirit guide and protect that person, oh Lord. Whatever decision that he or she want to make, Father, we need you, oh Lord. Give them the wisdom and the understanding of that very of that very revelation, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, that decision that they are planning to make, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, you know who that person is, either a man or a woman, you know that very person, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give them the wisdom to make the right decision, not the this decision that they will regret later and say, had I known, I should have done it like this. Father, give them the revelation, oh Lord, give them the wisdom to make that very right decision. We bless your holy Father. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, because you have done it. Continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus right now. Father, Lord God, we soak ourselves in your blood. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us today. Jesus, we soak ourselves in your blood, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I soak every soul under the sound of my voice in the blood of Jesus. We will not be troubled. You will not be troubled in the mighty name of Jesus. Your house will not be troubled in this very season. I bind coronavirus. Whatever viruses that is existing right now, I bind it out from you and out from my house too, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind those viruses out from our children, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy Lord. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We thank you because we have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shalom, shalom.